guys uh, coming to you from beautiful uh, Dayton Ohio at Hamvention no I'm not I'm here at home I'm uh, down in Loomis waiting to get my truck smogged normal day except that my predictions came true this time on K6 UDA radio Guys, a couple of predictions that I made a while ago, well, actually one of them has materialized. Uh, you know, over a year ago, I made that video, the next big thing from Elecraft, and I predicted the K4 with the big display, with the built-in pan adapter, everything else, and honestly, <laughs> They did it. They just announced it last night. I am so excited. Uh, roll the tape. It is time. It's two thousand. It's almost 2017. And it is time for a major update. So what do I mean by that? Most of us use our K3s at home. They never move. They never leave. If I'm going somewhere, I'm taking my KX3 with me. What I really want is an integrated Elecraft transceiver. I don't even know what you would call it. Oh, let's say the K4. You can make it a true departure from what Elecraft has done before. It can be the big set top or the big desktop set, more like ICOMs. 7800 or Kenwood's 990. Come on, Elecraft. Give us a nice big color display with touch screens, an integrated pan adapter. Wow. How about adding full computer integration, uh, like a really, really super cool looking GUI interface that you can just adjust everything right there on the computer and you can you can adjust and play with uh, the amp the tuner the radio you see everything in a GUI that looks really really cool hey and while you're at it all right guys my only question right now is how do I get my hands on one of these new K4s uh, I'm going to have to mortgage the house, sell the farm, I don't know, bite the bullet, whore myself out, do something to get myself into one of these K4s and test drive it. Now the other big thing that's come out of uh, Dayton this weekend is Yesu's announcement of the FT3DR. Wow. Uh, you know what, I just bought that FT2DR and I've grown to like the radio. Uh, there was a few things that I was not really, really happy with, but it looks like all of that stuff may be fixed now in the new FT3. Beautiful color, touchscreen display, built-in Bluetooth. We'll see what they've done uh, with the alphanumerics on it. We'll see if maybe they've updated the alphanumerics. If they have, this thing is going to be a winner. This is this really very well could be uh, the killer to the Kenwood D74. Then again, it may not be. Anyway, guys, um, hey, tune in to Wires X YouTubers Room. I'm expecting updates coming from uh, coming from the Xenia Fairgrounds all weekend long. Let's get on there and talk about all this cool new stuff. And if you're if you happen to be at Dayton this weekend, please let's uh, get on YouTubers. Tell the rest of us what is going on there. What all the new stuff is coming out. Uh, I've got my little birds 
that are chirping all over Dayton right now. Anyway, guys, uh, just a very, very quick little update here uh, live from Loomis, California. <laughs> I'm Bob K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7 3.